Good morning. It is a nice day. May. The sun is shining. It's actually freezing in here, but it's it's going to be okay today. But uh, welcome back, or welcome to the channel, because it's not back. Today's the first day of a new beginning. Um, you may notice the Instagram and the YouTube channel name change. The reason for the name change, I have notes here because I don't want to mess this up if you're wondering what I'm looking at. The reason for the name change is uh, since the beginning of, of the YouTube channel, um, it was about me and what I did with cars. and Not that it was disorganized, but it was all over the fucking place and that makes sense for just normal life. Uh, but when we moved in here, the channel actually took a little change and it started being about what's going on in the shop my build still helping youtubers and, and you know helping people that support us and um doing all that stuff so it didn't make sense for it to be called tommy effia and um that is now dead it is not called tommy effia the shop is called garage s0 always has been um since we moved in here in 2021 you know the the reason for the change was it, it's not about me it's not just my cars it's not just vlogs it's about the collective, the collaboration of everyone who helps out between Jack, the tuner, the techs, the painter, um, you know, shops and, and just just everyone. And then other YouTubers helping Adam and TJ and Dustin and Hurt and Larry. And um, if I forgot anyone, whoops. But basically, that's what this is about. And that's what it should be called. It shouldn't be called Tommy F. Yeah. So we changed the name of the Instagram. We changed the name of the YouTube channel. And from this point forward, you'll notice all the videos prior to us moving in the shop have been deleted. Um, I may upload those on another channel for people who really care, but probably not. I don't, I don't really give a shit about that time. I'm not a very uh, sentimental person. I don't give a fuck. The change is here, like it or don't. So with that being said, we I'm just reading this still. We are currently looking to hire a social media manager i don't really know the word we need someone who wants to edit the videos film the videos um upload the videos run the instagram i mean i'll be doing all that stuff still when i can if i see a picture or something it'll still be all be on there but basically the important stuff someone will be will, will be doing that and that could be you if you're interested in doing that we'll move somebody out we'll we'll pay well and um the idea is you'll run all of the social media which is a lot you know, TikToks, Reels, pictures, videos, whatever it is. Um, just a filmer. Filmer, editor, picture taker. So if you're interested in doing that, email me. Garage, S-Z-E-R-O, at gmail.com. Uh, we will consider all applicants. If you're wondering where my stuff will be, I'll explain it right now. My personal builds of anything, pretty much anything Japanese, will still be here. We'll be filming it like after this video, my R33 series will begin and the car is looking gangster. So good, it's so close. It looks like shit right now actually because Larson's sitting there sanding all the beauty out of it, but it will be back. Um, we're trying to make it to R's day in Northern California, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So it's gonna be a tall order, but we're up for it. Um, so all my personal Japanese builds will be here. My personal stuff, I've been messing with a bunch of P cars. I've got some, some stuff going on in my personal life that I'd like to film and document because I'm just used to doing it now. I have all the gear, I've got I, the organization, I just enjoy doing it. So that stuff will be located on my second channel, which used to be called FE Extra and is now called NLA, which stands for No Longer Available. Um, I'll link it in the description if you want to subscribe. There's nothing on there yet, but I have been filming for both this channel and pretty much for that channel since I've last uploaded. So six, seven months now, I've been filming a bunch of P-Car stuff and I, I'm enjoying myself. Needless to say, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I like the Porsches a lot. I like, I just like it. I don't want to talk about that too much, but uh, yeah. So moving forward, Garage at Zero merch uh, will be Garage at Zero shop, more shop related. It's It'll be really cool. I'm, I'm actually excited at what I've seen so far and that will be for the giveaways, um, which are still happening. I've seen, if you're a VIP and you have any any questions on that, you can always email me, tommyfe at gmail.com. Make sure you confirm you're a VIP. That statement was more for the people who are just pocket watchers, curious, want to know what's going on, want to cause drama. The giveaways are obviously 
not gonna stop. I never intended to stop them. I just took a little break for myself, for my family, for the shop, and uh, I'm glad I did because we're coming back harder than ever. Um, harder, stronger, faster than ever. So we have a giveaway car, giveaway car currently in the booth getting prepped for paint. That's all still going down. The car's pretty gangster. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna like this one. Um, and then uh, besides that, we got Breezy. If you haven't tried a Breezy, go hit up your local package store. Uh, all the total wines and ABCs in Florida have it. HEB, I think it's called, and Texas has it. It's in like 32 states or something like that. And for all the people who have tried it, you're a real one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Shake well, refrigerate a lot. It's all real fruit juice and it does settle. I actually like to store them upside down in the refrigerator so that when I grab one, turn it over, shake it up and you're not, you know, you're not just getting kicked in the face with 8% alcohol. They're, they're strong boys. So be careful. Don't drink and drive. Um, so I'm going to start the video because I don't want this to be too long. This is a banger. No one thought this was happening for some reason. I announced we were going to do it in Bakersfield, LZ World Tour uh, a couple, I don't know, a couple weeks, months ago, two, two months ago, month and a half ago, and we're done. It's done. This video is going to be about that. Booth's car is gangster. Uh, if you're wondering why we did this, I just think Booth is one of the most deserving people to have their car redone. I am proud to have the shop name on Booth's car because of how he drives. Um, he's, an, he's an aggressive little fucker. So I'm excited about that. And I hope you guys are too. So get excited. Throw back a breezy if it's the correct hour and you're over 21. And... Um, Get ready to watch this video. It's, it's a good one. And it's not, the end of it's not really the end. We're going to Montreal this weekend to for the LZ World Tour. Watch it on the live stream. Watch Booth, Booth Shred. And uh, stay tuned for the R33 build. Let's get on with it. Good and welcome back to the channel. We're starting this one outside. We got a special one. Everyone's talking shit. Everyone's saying this wasn't going to happen. I shouldn't say everyone. There was only a couple of fuckwits and, and, and Adam and Grant were two of them yep. but our boy booth is here Let's go. we're getting a garage s0 fps spec resto on this pile of absolute oh, shit, shit. <laughs> so bad, how many times have you crashed this 100 you got a, you got some this is bad yeah, who so did that you remember that guy Pro Brewski. oh that was that one here. That's crazy. does he so we've got the S15. This is going to be our second S15 spec restoration. R, sunroof. Real spec R sunroof. No shit. Yep. Beautiful so, car. Junk. Yeah. How much did you pay for it? We can't tell them. Is it cheap? Yeah. Tell them. Stupid tell cheap. Tell them. No. Was it just a roller? Yeah. Ten grand. Less? Yeah, way less. Holy yeah. shit! Back in the day, I bought two S15s. My first pewter one was ten. It was a spec S auto. My or wait, maybe that was a manual, and then my white one was 10. This was pre-COVID, like, yeah. shit was nice back then. Way nice. So, nice. You, you painted it red, and we're gonna change it up a bit. Yeah, it's been red for like, I've had the car since 2018, so. No like shit. So you got a Neo? Yep. With some mods? Yep. Precision turbo B. How much power is it making like right now? 450. 450. Yeah. So your goal is how much, like close to six? Yeah. So our job is gonna be one, to make it pretty. So this car doesn't look pretty right now. Uh, it looks like tough, it looks like a cool drift car. The reason Boots here is two reasons. One, he's deserving of this. Two, he's got one of the cooler cars and I wanna keep RBs in drifting. That's right. I think that, like who else drifts an RB? Should we say it? Well don't say like, like clowns, like say only like cool people that I know. I don't even think you know. Nobody, yeah. see that's the answer. <laughs> Just Booth. So we'll be 2.8, changing the manifold, changing the turbo, yep. changing the intake manifold slightly, yep. changing some piping on this side, which I honestly think it might even be close enough. Might have to just extend it. This and then... Good Treadstone intercooler and a oh, cooler nice. rad, so. Those guys are like down near Miami, right? Yeah. Treadstone? They're cool. Yeah. And uh, we've got a bunch of parts because we just restored it as 15, so we've got like takeoffs that we would throw out. We've got all new, not new, we've got used trim, nice. used bell moldings. Um, just shit like that that we would normally throw out, but yours is so dusted. Yeah. Uh, so we have to restore the body ish, right? We're gonna make it as nice as we can. Yeah, we got, got a new, new kit. Whole new kit. Um, 
and we're gonna paint it a different color and we're gonna save that for the end of the video or maybe the thumbnail or something. Actually, we'll take a thumbnail of the before. That'll be the video. Yeah. Restoring the worst S15 in the country. Worst, the you got the trans with you? No, but well, we're gonna use that one for now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, looks pretty simple. S chassis are easy. Yeah. So we're gonna get this thing inside and tear it down now. But for all you fuckers that didn't think this was gonna happen, We've been working in the background. Yeah, that's that's it right there. So Booth came through with this entire body kit. Should we say where you got it from? Is that is that a thing? Yeah, we can. So uh, what was it? What was it? Parts from Japan. He just had this shit in stock in Pennsylvania. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So we got new rears and a full new kit. Well, you didn't have the fronts. So you just got one front. Well, yeah, because the other one's good. So. Oh. Fuck it. You know? Yo, you're fucking this place up with this piece of shit. All this shit staying here. All in the way. Fuck. Engine's about to come out. It's been like four and a half hours. Four and a half hours? Four and Five. And it's, it's actually been like maybe an hour and a half. And they just started doing this. This comes out easy. But you can see just how shitty this car is. So shitty. Oh no, they fuck it all up. I They told me not to put the uh, camera out because... Booth was doing some South Florida shit, some North Florida shit, I mean. He didn't put it all the way Why underneath. Why you fucking shit? <laughs> <laughs> you put that on your fucking story or Put it on your story, dude. Hey, did you get a little overspray on her? I didn't paint that. Yeah, just, somebody didn't mean like to. That? That's we got I don't like those. And water. Oh, cool. Don't use those. Um, You got... No boot. Is that okay? Does that get worn out? I don't know shit about drift. Same no steering boot. rack for six years. He goes, that's Florida. And I'll take one with me because I know you got a couple. Well, what is it for? SFT. Yeah, right. Jeez. Fucking purple power, you bro. Fucking junk ass shit don't work. That's weird. It looks perfectly fine. This dude needs to go back to Florida. Yeah. How can I tell? Look straight here, and look straight here. This one's way further over, right? Oh, you can see it here. Yeah. So, engine's out, base stripped, boots cleaning this thing. Adam, your boy's moving up, he said. Get them all shook. Dude, it's not summer yet. It's not summer yet. So, clean this thing, scrub her down, get that thing oiled up, and then it's time to go under the knife. Who did this? Really? Who? That's a booth job? It doesn't leak. Yeah, I bet not. Use a pound and a half of fucking caulk. Hulk. All right, we're back with Booth's fucking restoration from hell. We've got his uh, S15 wing, bumper, bumper, side skirt, hood, all KH3. These are KH3, correct? Pretty much. Jet black. Oh, it's just black. His fenders, Spare rear fenders. fenders. Spare fenders. Spare fender and another, oh, another yeah. over. We got shit. Everywhere I saw his trunk on the other side of the room. Yep. And then in here, oh my God, it's crazy to paint a door that looks like this. So we have his doors. This thing's gonna be fucking concourse. No, so with this, uh, he has a door cover and this is as good as we could get it because there's reinforcement back there that didn't really work too well. But um, the door just gets attached along the perimeter and Kind of hides all this damage. How's yeah, it? We only painted it black, so when he fucking rips it off. Yeah, we just repaint black. it. Here's the other one, not not as bad. Not bad yeah. And these are the fr the fenders he's gonna yeah, use. These are the fresh fenders. Yep. He had to buy a second set because we had one that was two inches wider and one that was one basically. Now let's show him the, the car. He got his headlights restored, recleared. Actually, these were my spare set, but because all his tabs were broken off his. He's lucky that uh, I've had like a bunch of S15s because we have hella spare parts. The purple one just got painted. Instead of throwing all the old trim out, we saved it for Booth's car. And now let's show the chassis, which is, what's the word? Totaled. This thing was totaled like six times. So we'll start in the beginning, in the front, I mean. So the front, we've got the radiator support that's like, barely holding on. This thing technically needs a tube frame front, but this works for Booth for now, so we're gonna run it for the rest of the season and see what he decides at the end. Basically, all you would need is, you'd cut it here, plate it, and you'd do a tube. Here, you'd make sure you get your headlight mounts. I don't think any of this shit's necessary. And you'd probably just leave this 
radiator, lower radiator support if you yep. tubed it. No reason to cut that. Yeah. I've so, already tubed it from this point forward. Right. So just kind of work off his base plates here and yep. do whatever. So then uh, Peter Walden in the strut tower reinforcement. Don't know. Well, I do know that these are necessary because he had a cracked strut tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we drilled it out. Do you think it cracked because he took that lip off when he cut? When he yeah, that's a huge part of it. But I think these cars are known for it. Yeah, because the strut towers are cracked here. It was cracked on this side, so right. we fixed all that stuff up, and it's better than it was. It's better. We we were having trouble finding the line on where to stop because like this needs to be reshelled. This shell needs to be reshelled. It's not worth it, especially for a drift car that he's gonna redo this damage but i don't think this car has many more seasons left in it if he keeps driving like a maniac and then i mean whoever welded helen keller welded this this uh is all whatever this side is Do kind of the footage of the quarter before i popped it out i don't think so it was fucking gone really yeah. do you have any footage or pictures i think i, think I have some pictures. this rocker is a lot nicer than the other one just got some like dents yeah. but not but let's it show them the other side. Stuffed right there. I see you got a Celsius. Yeah. Pussy. <laughs> Couldn't hang. So he's got a nice little plate there for the, you know, core sport. For something. So the car was hit here when he bought it. So all of this is crinkled and wrinkled and bent and shit. Which is fine-ish. It's fine. I Rockers guess. sucked. Yeah, so somebody spliced on a quarter at some point. Used a gallon of filler right here. And, uh... So the car was hit so hard, it's splitting at the seam there, it's splitting everywhere. It's splitting a couple places. Yeah. When we put the overs on and the door, the door's so fucked up, there's a gap, the doors didn't close right, Peter Peter adjusted all that. Um, it's going to be a real Cinderella story when this thing uh, gets out of paint and gets all assembled and wrapped and everything. The goal here is to get it black. That's, That's it. That's the only thing. That's it. This is not a restoration. No. It's, we just have to make it one color yeah. uh, and look fresh. He's got rear overs. I think a lot it's, of it's, it's going to be hidden. Look, yeah, 90% of it is going to be fresh. Right. So it's going to look presentable, but under the skin. It's, it's going to be a piece of shit. Yeah. Booth, the thing's a piece of shit. So maybe let's put it in the comments and let's blow up everyone's Instagram and let's get it out there. If we get enough action on this. Enough people cheering in the live stream for Booth at the LZ World Tour Canada, etc. Maybe we'll give him a skyline because I wouldn't mind doing a nice skyline for him. We've got just the car too, but that's only if this goes well. If this doesn't go well, I'll tell Booth to kick rocks, you know. It's fucking... I'm just kidding. Uh, so the rear isn't actually that bad. It's surprising. I guess no one really gets hit in the straight rear. Yeah, I mean that side's fucking... This side is bad. Oh, yeah. Oh I yeah. Mean, all this was Has this quarter been put on? Because this looks No, weird. this was just so caved in when I popped it out. Everything it just, just split. Popped. Yeah, so. So here it is. Boots car going from white, red, silver. Peeling. White, red, pewter, peeling, junk. Yeah, we're not even going to take the rear glass out because the trim has all been oversprayed. So we're going to try to tape it in the same place and get black overspray to cover the red. I don't know if Booth is ever going to watch this, but if he does, next time, dude. Scuff your paint. Yeah, I was blowing paint off everywhere with it with the air gun. Oh yeah, dude. It's so whoever painted this, I, I assume it was Booth, but we don't know. Whoever did paint it, um, didn't really prep it too well, and like you can see even in some places, where was the pewter? You got it all, got it all gone. I oh, is this a lot of it. whatever? Where I saw it before, yeah. So the, it looked like glossy. Chip was yeah, off, and it was like that was chipping off was gloss. Yeah, like, so bad, yeah. so bad. So anyway, um, the engine. Is complete. Um, we had to pull some strings to get that to happen because we have customer builds with two sixes that have been waiting. So we had to use a different place and it was a shit show. But we pulled some strings with some buddies, got the engine dialed, uh, and it should be back tomorrow. This thing should be painted tomorrow. So next week, yummy down on this. Uh, then it needs to go to Jimmy's. Spoon is going to take it, do some fabrication work to it. Um, but before it leaves, we'll be able to start it in this video. Start it, move it, make sure it's good, put it on the trailer, and then uh, Spoon will be able to fabricate some intercooler piping. I think it needs a new downpipe because he's changing the manifold, yep. changing the turbo. Um, everything else on the cold side should be fine. Yeah. But we'll probably powder coat the piping. Just, just make it look good. Uh, but anyway, this is your update. Oh, actually, we got one more thing to show you. Booth had these fucking wheels. These ones aren't too, too bad. I mean, this one's kind of bad. You got them all dusty, but I'll show you what we got, Booth. 
So we couldn't leave Booth with some all mismatched wheels. We got them set right now. We're waiting for more, uh, but we have some semi-gloss 18.9F12 57 DRs. So these will go hard. These are what I ran on my 370Z drift car. We need two more of them, or maybe four more, so he has some spares. And we're gonna try to wrap the spokes uh, interestingly. The car is gonna look sick. The car's gonna look really sick. So stay tuned. We're gonna keep going. It's time for Booth's car to become black. The Raptor liner's already been done, or whatever he used. I think he used Raptor. Big ass dent in the quarter panel. <laughs> Super exciting. So we had JP run out and uh, use his connections and find a place to get Booth's engine in a jam. Um, and we're super excited to be able to, to put this together. So his engine came back. So this is an HKS 2.8, uh, step 0.2.8. So it's got crank, rods, pistons, right? Yeah. Uh, in a 25 block, which is which is interesting. I mean, they're the same, right? Yeah, From your experience? They are the same. You can do whatever you want with either or. So, yeah, we can turn a 2.8, a 25 into a 2.8, or 26 into a 2.8 with all the same hardware. So Everything looks like, I don't want to say cleaner than RB26s, but something up here looks different to me. Uh, yeah. I don't know if maybe this is thicker. Yeah. The well, the bore spacing, yeah. So yeah. It should be the same, but that does look a little different. It does. Um, but, yeah, so this is going to be a rear-wheel drive 2.8 liter. Uh, we're gonna paint it, put the head on. His his head gasket just showed up. Booth sent us a, what did he send us a, a Tome or something? I think Booth sent us a Tome. So what we'll be doing is uh, dressing the engine, and then now let me show you the car that is done. It's black. So what's crazy is this is like the worst condition car we've ever painted, and it's really strange to paint a car that's absolutely hammered. Like this huge dent in the quarter and all this stuff. The reason we didn't try to straighten this stuff more is actually because the seats and the cage and all that inside, you can't even get to this. Um, so there's like, it's just a lot, a lot of damage going on here. But the over fenders cover all this, the door pieces cover the doors, the bumper, the taillights, all that covers. Uh, the trunk was in okay shape. He actually straightened that out. This side up here isn't too bad, but also hammered all through here, rocker hammered like we showed. But it's crazy to see it all black. So this will be getting a livery. Um, it's gonna look pretty gnarly and it's gonna be bright. Let's just say it that way. So here it is all painted. Assembly starts next week. The goal for today is to get his engine as assembled as humanly possible. So next week, the rear section of the car can get assembled. The bay can start getting dressed and then that engine can go right in. I would guesstimate because it's a drift car it has like literally 10% of the system still uh, installed into the chassis that a normal car would. This thing is gonna go together quick. I think Booth took it apart, like stripped the whole bay down to nothing in about an hour and a half, two hours. So reassembly, let's call it four on the, on the safe side and it's gonna be gnarly. It looks fucking sick. So Booth's car is out of the booth. Uh, got the headlights mounted. Got the door overs mounted, and that's about it. We're just letting it chill. Oh, in the in the fake Grant doors, uh, we're waiting. I forget what we're waiting for. We've got to mount the overs, the rear overs. We've got to mount the fenders, and the engine is going down over here, and it's pretty close. Heads on. Um, timing stuff is basically on. We don't have the timing cover. We're waiting on the RB25 Neo pump, which should be here tomorrow. Water pump, oil pumps on. This is gonna be sick. Get excited for this. It, it's scheduled to be wrapped this weekend. So uh, by Monday, it should be wrapped. 
it has some slight fabrication that needs to go down over at Jim Bob's and then uh, we're good to go. Slowly but surely it's going back together. I don't know what the fuck Peter's doing all day, but we got the uh, doors, the rear overs are on, the wing, but he's actually dressing the bay or working on dressing the bay. He's got the wiper motor, booster, master in, headlights are in. What the fuck? It's ready to start. <laughs> Sleeping. So what's uh when you putting them fenders on? They don't get in the way of anything. Uh eh, they kinda do. Probably do the suspension next. Like knuckles, stuff like that. Okay. Make it gotta see it. Roll. I don't know, well, maybe. we can't kinda because we got a subframe, subframe from the it. bottom. Yeah. It's getting there. Black looks like shit when it's all dented. Like it looks like Spray it's like, paint. <laughs> it's like the fucking Pacific Ocean. Right yeah, now. it's so bad. Oh, yeah. The rear looks sick. Mine's that dusted ass wheel. Okay. Here it is, boys. We've I've been doing a terrible job filming because we've just been doing so much stuff. Here's Booth's car with the 57 DRs on it. Uh, we supplied these for him. We obviously supplied the paint, the body kit, the engine build. Uh, I guess he got an Artec manifold and a Garrett turbo. That wasn't supplied by us. But we are rerouting a bunch of stuff, changing a bunch of lines, because Booth had some chot shit in here. It looks like it was fixed on the side of a drift track. He got the GK Tech Master and lines. The only reason I'm saying that is so that doesn't get connected to my name, because I would would never buy that. Um, I'm not gonna say nothing against GK Tech, nothing against GK Tech or whoever he got that master from. I just don't trust aftermarket hydraulics. I've always had bad luck with them. Chase base stuff sucks. Uh, any fluid management stuff that is usually Chinese is absolute garbage. But uh, Booth supplied that, so best of luck to him. We've got the radium fuel rail all set up and we've got to contain some shit because we don't want to mount anything on the chassis. I'm scared if he crashes, uh, it'll get fucked up. So we're trying to mount everything up underneath the intake manifold and away from the chassis. All we'll have here is catch can, power steering reservoir, and then hopefully nothing else mounted. Sorry about that. He's got some Bog bogus Nismo cap. Did he have that on there? No. Oh, that's something we found. <laughs> <laughs> and then the the wrappers here. You want to introduce yourself? Yep. I'm Mike from Design Shop React, or Martino, as other people know me. As everyone knows him. So he's turning this K truck black. This is his. This is his. Uh, his interview before we let him wrap Booth's yeah. car. <laughs> no, just kidding. So uh, Noka's having him wrap the K truck, and then he's gonna be wrapping. Boots car next. The livery is fucking nuts. I don't know how we're gonna show it. I guess I'll have to keep popping in, or maybe I'll leave you the camera. Yeah. I can. Tomorrow. When are you gonna do it? Sunday. It'll be, no. It'll be probably. I'm hoping end of day tomorrow. This, okay. This I'm probably gonna finish tonight, ish. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably tonight. I'll go as long as I can. Yeah. Uh, then, finish it up tomorrow and then. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll either come here. or I'll leave him the camera. Uh, if I do have to leave, but. That wrap looks fucking nuts. Should we show him like a teaser? Is, there, uh, is it even possible? I mean, I can do it on my laptop if you want. Nah, yeah. that's too much. It's okay. Yeah. Don't show him. Yeah, They'll get it. There, They'll get it. Um, so, a lot of shit going on here. Getting ready for LZ World Tour. Montreal, this car is going. And ours day the following week. Shitty. It'll be a shitty two weeks. All right, so here's the virgin side. And mind you, he's like 20% of the way done, but I gotta show some progress. The colors look sick. He's gotta do some stuff where the wide body meets, obviously, but for now, this is what you guys are gonna get. Damn, Booth. That looks like righteous, you know? Looks, good. looks legit. It looks way better than the red. The red was cool, though. These colors are way better. Yeah. Especially when we throw in the little bits of yellow. Right. Yeah, the, the red was cool for like a street car, but when you you get this gnarly with the body and stuff, you like need graphics, I think, or like Especially with the livery. Blacks. Yeah, yeah, the black was like it looked a little American. It, yeah, like but like street car chotch, you know, black on black, but like it's the best base for this. So here it is. When we come back tomorrow, uh, it'll be done. Hopefully, <laughs> it's gonna look sick. Good morning, it's a new day and Booth came in late last night. What time did you get here? 3 a.m. 3? Supposed to be here at midnight, you get here at 3. What do you think? It's fucking nuts. First time seeing it. I can't believe it. 
So we did, watch that bracket. We did the, the two eights done. Uh, the wrap is done. Look at that garage S zero on the hood. Goes hard. Yeah, there it is. So if you didn't know, now you know, even though I announced at the beginning of this video, which I, this is it. The first, our first and last drift car that we'll ever do. Don't say that. They're terrible. It's not all dented uh, on the outside. You know? Dude, the trunk feels like a new trunk. Is it the same trunk? I don't think it is. Yeah. It is. No he way. had to straighten the whole fucking rear. It literally feels like a brand new trunk. Look at that. What do you think of the uh, pole? Well, that's good. Cruise then, then booze. Yes, sir. That's sick. I haven't even shown the back. Well, that shit looks sick. It's sick. I'm Look at that. I like the wheels. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm with black. Yeah. Like, look bad. it's not like the perfect choice, I guess, but in the time we had, uh, it's cool. Like, it flows. Yeah, it flows. It looks tough. Yeah. You know? No, yeah. It, looks it, it all ties together nicely compared to how it was, I guess. Sure. There was holes in the car. I miss red. Red fun. Yeah, red is so good. Yeah. Active red is... But this, when you see it in drift... On oh, it's going to look gnarly. The smoke, it's going to be fucking sick. This thing's going to stand out. So we've got a couple little button up things left to do under the hood. Power steering stuff, which isn't going to be too, too bad. We're just missing a bracket. Uh, we made all new turbo lines and, and heat sleeved them and stuff. So those are all good. Basically, just put the turbo on. A lot of stupid stuff. Fabricate the downpipe. Fabricate that intercooler piping because I would assume. I mean, it might be closed. So we, have, we haven't checked it, but yeah. I don't know. Well, besides that, it's, and then the wiring harness, it's ready to run. Look. What do you see you have in this thing? AMV2. That's insane. It's reliable, I tell you what. Yeah, everyone else says the opposite of that, but <laughs> um they got the wrong tune. So yeah, this is sick. This is cool. We've got some very small things to do, then it's off to Jimmy's for some fabrication and then we're going to Canada, going uh Mr. Worldwide over here. Monday and we leave Thursday. Thursday. So. I mean it's done. It's gonna start today. Yeah, the beautiful thing is we didn't really change the annoying things exactly. ecu wiring harness sure uh so we don't have any issues we'll start right yeah off, it'll tune and we'll go to the next spot yeah this is gonna be sick so i'm probably gonna end this video here uh pick up the next video whenever about this car or maybe you'll just have to see it on the live stream in uh in montreal on what is it saturday or sunday friday saturday sunday. friday saturday sunday so go watch that lz world tour um and that's it we'll see you guys next time Booth better be shredding and driving through Formula D drivers. You already know, on the way. Breezy to the top. <laughs> See ya.